Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. Welcome to Real Magic Review. And today I'm going to be talking briefly about David Williams. Well, briefly, say that. Uh, David Williamson's uh, first session of the Masterclass sessions on Vanishing Inc. Before we do that, please like, subscribe, check out Car Magic Course. It is becoming a behemoth. A monster of a thing. Uh, hundreds of videos. I'm adding to it all the time. Even the just the car, Royal Road to Card Magic course is just getting really, really big now. It's it's a huge project. I'm very proud of it. Have a look at it. Cardmagiccourse.com and share this review if you like. So I will be talking about this probably at the end of it. I might not, but um, the, the end of the three days. But this is the, I watched the first day of David Williamson's session the other day. I was gonna wait to the last three days but I just don't want people to miss this if they're not sure and they're on the fence with this. I absolutely adored this session. I've loved all of them. I like the Assy Win one. I haven't seen the Loot one but I like um, the connected stuff that they're doing as well. Really good stuff. But this I thought was really special and this magic sometimes does this for me. When I've had a, a difficult couple of weeks or a month or whatever, I, I watch something that will just lift me and get me re-inspired again. And we all go in and out of our inspiration with magic. I've talked about this so much uh, to the point where it could, could get boring. Imagine that. Um, but I watched this and it was in my evening and I kind of thinking, do I want to watch magic now? And I'd seen what it was. He was doing gambling routines. Do I want to watch a gambling routine? And um, within 20 minutes, I had the cards in my hand and I had two hours of just absolute joy. It, it, it was and it unexpected as well. I've seen a lot of David Williams, like many people. He is one of my favourite magicians. We, most people will say David Williamson is their favourite magician for, for good reason. But there was something about seeing this sort of stuff that just, for me, it's, this is my favorite kind of card work. It's exactly what I do. I lectured last night, not the routine, but I do stuff that is really easy to follow for a lay person that has a hook that kind of, they know exactly what's going on. Name four cards, we'll do something with four cards. But he took it to the next level, which really inspired me of, of introducing callbacks and a hook and a theme through this whole thing. And importantly, a whole act with a deck of cards, you know, the, this, what he shared with us was clearly what he does and he's not the sort of person that's going to make he doesn't have to make that up does he like some people go and this is straight from my repertoire and you go is it is that from your repertoire <laughs> but this clearly is and you know it, it, he has all this story about Erdnays and he keeps bringing the book and he talks about callbacks he keeps calling back to the book then to the color of the book and he gives he does a um I'm going to sort of flip flip around this whole thing but he does a color change in triumph routine which acknowledges the fact that sometimes you do a colour change in deck routine and people can't even remember what colour the deck was originally because he uses the book to kind of as a hook to kind of anchor that colour to the, so you know exactly what's going on. Um, he brings back cards later on that were called for originally. He uses a Darwin, and he, he references Darwin Ortiz a lot and it's so nice to hear someone actually say Darwin Ortiz is brilliant, and I know we all say he's brilliant. It's books, but you do hear people that are a bit sniffy saying, "Well, I saw him lecture, and he, he wasn't he wasn't performing it that well." Darwin Ortiz for me is someone who performs for lay people and lectures for magicians, and it's so nice to hear David say you know, he's such an inspiration. But you know, he watched him perform and he watched him nail audiences, and I have no doubt about that. And and this is stuff that is just so so commercial, and to make a gambling routine so commercial is difficult. They can be really really dull, and that's why. Kind of my heart dropped a little bit when I thought, saw he was doing this gambling routine. I thought, what's it going to be? And because I, I, even though I love David, I haven't seen all of his stuff, so I'm sure it's stuff that people have done before. But it was a Darwin Ortiz um, uh, sort of pseudo gambling routine, and I just thought it was brilliant. I loved every minute of it. It got me. It it kind of it surprised me and. Just that one session I thought was absolutely incredible. So if you are a card worker and you're feeling a bit kind of like you're learning in this and that and you don't know where to put it, it just it, it brought it all together for me, the stuff I've been working on in the last couple of years. It made me go, right, I'm going to pick that Ortiz book up. Now I've seen William perform it, Williamson perform it in a way that is completely entertaining. Um, I'm going to work on that. So I loved every minute. Um, so check it out. If, if, you're, if you're not sure, I think it's really worth it. This is no affiliation. I've got no affiliation. I don't get a, 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 a cut of this or anything like that. I just think that we should look, when I find magic like this, we should look for it. And, and why do we love David Williamson? Without getting too gushy, which I'm going to, I, I think it, 
he, when I see him do sleight of hand magic, it reminds me of why I learned sleight of hand magic. It wasn't just to show off, it was that you can create miracles with a deck of cards that someone lends you, and you can get there so much quicker. And don't get me wrong, I love gimmicks. You know, I review them here, I use them all the time. I, but when you can do that with a deck of cards, it kind of goes, that's why I think um, it's great to, to learn slides. And that's kind of why I started the card magic course back in 2013. It was like, if you know all these slides, you can put this stuff together. Um, and, and learn how to routine and, and learn how to create miracles. And, and he's got a humility to him. You know, I love the way that he is. He is self-depreciating and not in a kind of ha-ha, I'm going to laugh at myself sort of way, but just a really kind of, you know, a normal, warm human being that happens to have this incredible work that he's, he's clearly put so much into. So I, th I think it's, it's just, you know, we learn so much from people like this, not just about the slights and the skills, but just about how to be in the magic world and, and you know, you look at why do people warm to him? Well, it's probably because he's not arrogant and he hasn't got something to prove. He just loves what he does. And there's a bit at the end where it said, um, you know, someone said to, to him, what well, I, I think it is, what do, you, what do you love? What's your best thing about magic? What's your favorite thing about magic? Or something like that. And he says, the people. And that just sums it up completely for me. And not the famous people or this, that. It's just, you know, you see him at a convention and he loves sitting there watching, you know, someone working on cards. He's still got that, that joy and he's still got that hobbyist. And that, again, is an inspiration. It's kind of like, it's okay to still be a hobbyist and do all this professional stuff and just love uh, the art and the craft for what it is. Bit gushy, I know, but uh, worth saying because not, not enough people are. So all the links will be below. Check it out. There's two more sessions left. They will all be available. I watched this after the live session and I didn't feel like I lost that much from it. I, li I liked watching it afterwards because it's hard for me to make the live stuff. Uh, so check it out. All the links. Please like, subscribe, check out Card Magic Course and have a good one. Cheers.